Hey, hey, what is up, YouTube? Zao here, coming at you with another Dofus video. Yes, today is Monday, and we will be making a video just like I promised. Uh, today's video will be just, I mean, a slightly different, nothing really. It actually probably won't even be different, I just wanted to say that. Um, the only difference is I'm not starting off in-game like normal. I guess that's really the only difference. And the reason that I wanted to do it this way is because in my last video, someone called me out, um, which is perfectly fine. Uh, if I mess up, I mess up. Uh, the very first video, I think it was the first first video. I wanted to, I said that I wanted to not use any of my old characters for anything, anything like that. Um, I think what I meant when I first said that was that I didn't want to use any of the items that they had or any of the money that they had um, for advantage in making my other characters and like equipment and all that fun stuff. Uh, and it didn't even cross my mind that you could also apply that to the professions. And in the last video, I used one of my other characters' professions to help improve myself. And what's even funnier is it wasn't even necessary because I've got plenty of guild members with level 200 professions. Um, I just was lazy and didn't want to ask and use my own characters. But, um, from now on... I will not be using any of my characters for anything other than Almanex quests. And you're like, Zal, why Almanex quests? And the reason is that you can get <laughs> a lot of money from that. Um, and if you guys don't want me to use it for Almanex quests, I'm more than happy to not use it for Almanex quests. I'll leave that up to you guys. But basically, some of the Almanex quests can give you like up to 50,000 commas per character. So... I think I did it in a previous video where I used all of my characters to get as many commas as possible. And if you're not okay with that, just let me know in the comment section. I won't even use it for that. But the reason we're starting on this screen is I wanted to show you all of my characters so that if you ever see me with one of those characters out, but I don't say anything, which isn't going to happen, but just in case, you can call me out on it. So I was just going to walk you through all of the other characters that I have, just so you know. Uh, and you can call me out. I just want to be completely transparent. So on my very first account, uh, we have, uh, his name's Omnismore. He's a level 194 Zeller. Um, he actually, his name used to be Zalan. Zalan is how I say it. X-A-L-A-N. Um, so this is the first character. Uh, get a good, get a good look at him. I don't know how to turn the character or I would... Uh, maybe I can rotate? Nope, I don't know. So, this is my first character. Another character on this count is... <laughs> don't judge for these names, guys. Uh, Miss Naughty. <laughs> I'm kind of embarrassed right now, but Miss Naughty. And she is a level 149 Foggernaut. So, these are the first two characters that I have that you should never see me on. Unless, like I said, Almanax quests again. Unless you tell me not to do that. So those are the two characters on this account that you should never see. On to the next one. We have Omnimore, which is uh, a level 173 Echo Flip. And by now you're probably starting to see the couple of teams that I had. So I had the Omni teams, I had the, the Mr. and Mrs. teams, and now I have the Zalathne teams. So if you can't tell, I like to restart. I think it's a lot of fun. Uh, so I have the 173 Echo Flip Omnimore, uh, which is, like I said, an Echo Flip. And then we have Mr. Kinky <laughs> 177 Fogger, or uh, this is a Masquerader. Uh, and then if you go watch my first video again, you'll see that I said I have used a Masquerader and a Fogger Knot before. And these were the Masquerader and Fogger Knots. Uh, so that's those characters. On to the next one, we have my actual Masquerader that I'm using now. Uh, and then the other count, Mrs. Kinky, which is a 116 Inutroth. And then this guy, this was me testing out what a Hupper Mage was before I actually created the accounts for our video. I could actually probably just delete this one. Yes, delete. Um, and then on to the final one, we have Omnicore, which is a 193 Crawl, absolutely my favorite character. Crawls are my favorite characters, uh, just in case you didn't know. Uh, freaking awesome. Crawls are amazing. <laughs> and then Mr. Naughty, which is an IOP level 165. 
And do I have another one? No, I think I went through everyone. Yep, so those are the other characters that I used to play a long time ago. So if you ever see those on the map or something uh, while I'm on my other characters, straight call me out. But like I said, that's not going to happen. Uh, but I just wanted to be completely transparent with you. So yeah, there's that. Um, but other than that, that's really all I have. So let's go ahead and get right into what I did for the couple of days that uh, I didn't get to show in Sunday's video. All right, let's get to it, guys. And this is our first video of the day. This is actually a playback, and I am watching this and talking to it right now. Uh, so what happened is I was away from my desktop, and this was going to be in a very important moment. So I decided to record it on my laptop while I was playing, and my speaker there is horrible, even worse than my headset that I have on now. But I wanted to share this with you. So what this is, is just me uh, doing the final doppel of the, uh, of the 12 doppels of the quest, and also getting level 100 for the first character, which is very exciting. Uh, a little bit of embarrassing news, I would say, is that this character could not beat doppels for the life of me. It was horrible, and I had to borrow the emerald ginger um mount from a friend because i really needed that 300 hp and i'm embarrassed to say it but i i needed it i needed it bad i could not win as you can see my life is already getting really low and we just barely won that fight right there but there we go there is me reaching level 100 and i'm pretty sure i even get even more levels because I held off all of the achievements that I was getting during the doppels until the very end. So yeah, there's some. Again, I'm not in control right now. I'm just watching a playback. So yeah, that's looking like a lot of achievements that I uh, saved. So actually what I did was I turned my mount and my guild XP all the way up to 90. So instead of getting like 130,000 XP a fight, I was getting like 2,000 XP per fight. Um, but yeah, it looks like we just accepted it, and uh, it wasn't that great. He only got up to level 101, but uh, yeah, that's still super exciting. I mean, you can't deny that. Level 100 on our first character, that gives us an extra AP, so now this character on a normal day will be at 9 AP, 4 MP, and 300 HP less than that, um, which you'll you'll realize, you'll see that when we start going into the other other videos and all that stuff, but I guess now I'm just equipping the the new uh, uh, ornament. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Yeah, ornaments and titles. Well, I'm keeping the title, but the ornament I changed. Uh, but yeah, that's really exciting, and I wanted to experience that with you all. I think what I'm going to do next is probably apply the strength and then uh, put our first spells to level 6. So let's go ahead and watch that happen. I'm actually, it's a lot easier to talk watching something instead of uh, trying to play and talk at the same time. It is a lot easier, but it looks like I'm trying, oh yeah, I, was try I wanted to see what the difference in damage was for that and for this. So leveling up to level 6, leveling up to level 6 on this, and I'm pretty sure I even forgot about even looking at the final spell that you get at level 100 because I didn't even think about it. Um, but I think later on, a little bit later, I, I'm like, oh, crap, I have a sixth one. Um, yeah, because, yeah, at this point, I don't even remember. And I'm I'm hoping in this video clip, I'm like, oh, yeah, I have a level 100 spell I can look at. Which for this guy, I don't even, I honestly don't even know what this guy's level 100 spells does. It places runes, I think. But other than that, I mean, I don't really know. So if you could uh, help explain that to me in the comment section, it would be it'd be very appreciated because, like I said, I mean, I have no clue what it does. I just don't quite understand it. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's about all I've got for this. All right, guys, here we are at Daggero's Lair, and we are going to be going through this dungeon uh, we are going to be doing first, so we have to kill him first, and Limprist, which means, what is it, do not stand next to an enemy. So, 
those are what we're going to be doing and it should be fairly easy i'm not concerned at all obviously the standing next to an enemy one with all of this stuff is always a tad bit concerning but overall i don't believe it's going to be much of an issue we will find out but fingers crossed um i want zalus to what is going on i can't unready him there we go move zalus over here zalin i believe is next we'll have zalin over here boom all right so this should be pretty good i think we're going to be able to knock out dagro fairly quickly I don't think it's going to be an issue. And all of these guys. Oh, we. Lol. Good thing I can tealy. Oh, that was cool. Alrighty, so let's see what kind of special stuff do I want to do. We'll just whack him. And then I don't want to whack him again. What if I whack him this way? Whack him. Whee! Easy enough. Alrighty, what is going to be happening here? Um, I think I can give him a nice little, uh, shit. Shit. <laughs> um, can I move it all? I don't think I can move it all. Um. Pain in the ass. All right, well, sorry I've been talking much. I gotta concentrate sometimes. I am not very good at multitasking, unfortunately. And it is a downfall of mine, a big downfall of mine. And I don't want him to stand by there either. So we'll just do this. Oh my gosh, people are flying everywhere. It's becoming a pain in the butt. So we'll do this. Can I get salt armor on him? Uh, what's breakwater do? Oh yeah, that thing. Do I have breakwater twice? Why do I have breakwater twice? Okay, and then go that way and see what happens. Oh, someone died. Somebody died. Oh well. Dagro was. Dying O. GG, Dagger O. Zalus is going one, two, three, four, five. Teleport his ass away. And it's going to be beautiful. It's going to be so beautiful. Boom. Ah. Do I want to attack anyone? We can do... We can do that. Nope, that didn't do shit. Yeah, we'll just end our turn there. Zalar can get away, so that's not an issue. I don't know about Zalith me getting away. That's actually a bit concerning. This cat can just jump right away, though. He's not an issue. Um, oh, and Al Zalfni might be able to get away. Can she get away? Can do lifesaver. Make sure grapnel. Yep. Okay. So lifesaver, and then grapnel, and then run the fuck away. 
stupid. Wow, cool. Heal the boss. Dick. Alright, she can push this way and she went the wrong way. Pointless. Yeah, that's what I thought. She can't get to the range to attack. She can do that though, and then I might be able to kill it. I don't. Oh, fuck. Uh, shit, shit, shit. Fuck. Yes! Yes! What? What luck? Oh my god. Alright, so I'll smack him. And then I'll smack him. And then for the fuck of it, I'll smack him again. You can suck a dick. Perfecto! Yes! <laughs> Every one of my people died too. It's going perfect! <laughs> Holy shit! It looks like, unless, unless Froggy fucks up somehow, which isn't gonna happen at all. Froggy very, very rarely messes up or anything. And she's gonna hear this too, because she watches the videos. Uh, Froggy's gonna... Gonna kill it. I'm just glad we are able to do all of the... Is she gonna die? She might die. Please don't die. Oh my god, she's gonna die. She's gonna die. Is she gonna die? She might. You about to die. <laughs> Please don't die. I don't want to die. Dying's the last thing that I want. Ooh. This is scary. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, shit. But I mean, as long as she doesn't die, then I think we're golden. Oh my god, how is she losing so much health? Holy crap. They are just tearing into her. Why? This is scary. Oh. This is some scary. Is it? Is it when she doesn't stand? Yeah, when she doesn't stand next to an ally, she loses half health. Oh my god, she wins though. She got to figure out a way to kill. Got to figure out a way to kill that other person. But other than that, <laughs> now how to kill this guy? Lol. This is gonna be a long fight. Just leave it at that. Hey, at least they don't heal though, right? Shit. That's good damage. LOL. That's not even going to take that long. Dude, we're killing it. Holy shit. We are killing it. This is crazy. I'm I'm so pumped right now. It's a good day. It's a good day. Oh my. That was a scary fight, to be honest. I was I was a little scared. But we kicked ass. Well, she kicked ass. I did get the final blow on the uh, boss though, so that's 
Can't complain about that, now can I? No. Has she got... Oh, she's just healing. Hey, yeah, if that's all you can do. I don't, I, li I don't think this fight could have gone more perfectly, to be honest. Like, I really don't. I don't think this fight could have went more perfectly. And I think it's over right here, too. So we are going to get a whole lot of achievements. That's for sure. Is she gonna kill? Can she kill it? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, my God. Beautiful. <laughs> Rolling in it. I wonder how many guild members got to see all of that. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Be I don't know how to spell beautiful. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five per person. Five per person. <laughs> four people. <laughs> All guild members just got 20 notifications. Lemo. Elimeo. Man, that was, that was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. Alright, guys. Well... I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to grab a screenshot of this because, again, gorgeous. And I will see you guys next time. One thing I forgot to mention was before I even ran that dungeon, Zalafni did get to level 100 because I did the Almanac's quest. Uh, so this is a screenshot. And then here is a screenshot of my other character getting a level 100, which was after the Dagger Rose quest. Still thought it was worth screenshotting and for you to see. So yeah, there it is. And here we are at the end of the video and we are going to do what you were probably expecting to be done last video, which is just like our weekly updates, which I try and do on Sunday, but couldn't quite fit it in because the main material that I wanted to talk about today would have been given away if I put it in yesterday's video. And that's just that a lot of the characters got a little, uh, level 100. So let's just kind of go over the distances, or the distances, the differences in levels uh, that happen. So first off, we will talk about Zalus as expected. Uh, last week, he was level 92. He's now up to level 106, which is about 14 levels, uh, which is... Oh, sorry. I lied. I did not lie. I did not lie at all, uh, which is pretty good, pretty good. Uh Keep in mind, last week we went up about 20 levels, so going up 14 levels, I, I can't complain because I really did not have much time to play. Uh, on to our next character, which is Zalin. Zalin was level 90, and now he's level 100, so that was 10 levels. Uh, also very, very good. Zalathni, uh, let's see, Zalathni was level 93, and now she's level 103. Uh, which is another 10 levels. And last and really least, because <laughs> he's only at two times XP. Uh, whoa, lost my train of thought there. Zolar, our masquerader, started at level 77 and now is at level 85. Which is not a lot of levels at all. That's what, eight levels? Uh, I guess that's honestly not too terribly bad, but yeah, those are the differences in that. So overall, not too bad, not too bad. Uh, I'm expecting hopefully eight or nine levels throughout this week, but I can't guarantee anything. I mean, there's a bunch of stuff that other stuff that I got to do. Uh, let's look at the professions really quick. I only worked on one profession this week, and that was mining. I think it was around like level 19 or so, 18 or 19 the last time we checked in with this, and now he's up to level 52. Uh, so he's doing very good, uh, very good indeed. Uh, I've, I don't know, I've just been in a mining cringe, uh, not cringe, uh, mining, I don't know, I don't know the word for it, I can't think of it, but I've just wanted to mine a lot. 
And what did I want to say about that? Oh, uh, the reason I didn't get into mining earlier was because my characters could not beat the Dark Miners. Well, my one character that I used to mine with, which is Zillar, could not beat the, the Dark Miner. Now he can, so now I'm mining. So yeah, that's exciting. Uh, let's look at money-wise real quick. So money-wise, we're doing pretty good. 1.12 plus, we'll just say 1.1 plus 2. So 1.3... 1.5 and 1.7 we're at about 1.7 million k which is pretty good i've got 75 kk in the bank from items sold which is not good at all uh remember i'm not touching that whatsoever that's the plan at least um so yeah doing pretty good on commas i don't really plan on using it i'm probably just going to save it until end game when i need to get exo mages and i don't want to have to do that uh, so I'll probably just save the money to be buying exo mages and stuff like that. But who knows? Stuff could change. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, but yeah, let's talk about the goals that I have for this coming week. Uh, first goal is that I'm still down by one Galeno, so I have to get that Galeno. Uh, I don't know which character doesn't have the Galeno. I don't feel like looking, but that character needs a Galeno. Uh, my next goal is more than likely Zalus is going to be level 114, uh, which is Ancestral Set. So I need to make sure I have all of Ancestral Set crafted. Uh, I, I just need one for right now. That's my goal is just having one uh, because my second Ancestral Set is when Zalar, who's only level 85, gets to 114. So that's a good while away. Uh, another goal that I do have, though, is for Zalar. Let's pull him up real quick. Zalar is still in Cotterum's helmet and cape. That's why his HP is so low. Uh, so I need to get that up. I mean, I really do. I need to get Cotterum's helmet and Cotterum's cape. I need to... What am I saying? Get it up. I am I am losing it. I want to replace that. And I want to replace that with King Jellic's crown. It's got 300 HP. I don't know what I want to do with the cape yet, to be honest. I'll, I still need to look it up. But I'm going to do something with the cape. So those are my goals for that. I also want to do a professions goal, but I don't know what I want to make that goal. So just accept, expect my miner to be higher than it is now. I don't know, maybe 75 or something. We'll see how that goes. It's kind of on the back burner compared to everything else. But I do want to mess around with that just because I'm getting into mining. It's pretty easy. And there's a bunch of 10-star mines and stuff. So pretty simple, pretty easy. But yeah, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you really enjoyed this video, subscribe. But as always, leave a comment. Let me know how I can improve this comment, uh, this content because I'm doing it for you guys. All right. See ya and have a fantastic day.